Greetings everyone. Today I will share with you this word and visions that I received from our Lord on the 16th of August 2023. Please take this message to our Lord and pray about it and get His confirmations. It started with the following words. They are coming against their Creator. All their attempts are futile. I knew all of this from the beginning, and I was prepared. Nothing can surpass what I have. You are my army. You are not just a remnant. You are my army with strategies. You are placed in significant places and positions. In the spirit, I see like something is enveloping the entire world, and the knowledge is given. It is a multitude of his people from different tribes all around the world. Then I see a globe with all the calamities. And the Lord asked His people to be patient and trust Him without complaining. I see an army of people in a full armor with helmets, breastplates, belts, boots, swords, and shields. And I noticed that I was placed above the continent of Africa and I saw people with beautiful, shiny, shimmering lights, like they were covered in that light, but I knew that the concentration was on their foreheads, because that's where I, I couldn't see the faces, because the light was so bright, and the word was given, ready, aim, and go, and I knew that it was about the assignments of the 144,000. And then it, uh, Lord said, they will be released soon. In a vision I saw a bride with puzzle pieces still missing. And then this word, training is in progress. Then I see a hand of a man dressed in a very old type of attire. And I had a view from above his shoulder. And I see a part of a ring in the natural and this word, promise, ring. My bride, I am waiting for you. Patience is a key. The ring that I saw had a color of a burnished bronze. And the hand looked very tanned. I didn't see a full ring, just a portion of it. Lord asked to come up higher and see. And this word was given. You will see things that you've never dreamt of. Knowledge will be given like never before. Patience will be rewarded. Those who persevere and come up higher will receive special rewards. Things like never before will start happening in your life, miracle after miracle. Then continued with, follow with the following words, A war is in the air, war machine. I see a man with both hands pushing something back. And the knowledge is given that it is war activities. I see tanks and other representations of wars. Then I see people on their knees praying and a map of the United States of America and it was concentrating on the north and northeast side of the US. And I noticed that a man was holding a, an invisible blanket. It was a see-through, kind of very light and transparent. And it was held against the direction of Russia in the Atlantic Ocean side of the US, northeast kind of side. In a vision, I see WEF people and a person in a basement who is pulling the strings currently. And these words, desperate move, they are trying to start a war, a chaos will help them, their agenda will be stopped. And the knowledge is given to pray against this war, as it won't help the revival. I just want to interject, isn't our God awesome by giving us all the details behind this scene? Okay, let's keep going. So, then I see these words, Nephilim are preparing their agenda. And our Lord gave an understanding that there is a connection between them and WEF and he called WEF foolish people because they think that they can outwit 
and control Nephilim. Then the Lord gives an understanding that He is the only one who can control them and the Holy Spirit through us. Their agreements of foolishness do not abide to the earthly rules, and by that he talks about specifically the evil agendas. And then deception is here. And he gave an understanding that people that are in the agreement with the evil will be outmaneuvered. They do not understand that they are used. The truth is in me, he said. And to know the truth, one has to have the Holy Spirit. And the enemy doesn't give people the full truth. And he reminded that the enemy is the father of lies. And then he continued, deceptive practices. They're doing his will, meaning Satan's, and his agenda. Picked the wrong side, the losing side. And the understanding was given how much it grieves our father and that they had opportunities to repent. And also that he will give them to their own desires. And I see a darkness representing hell and that they won't be able to come back. Then I see a group of people, WEF, and I see words, the unrepented souls. They will receive what they sold. And then I see a river of people believing WEF and their propaganda. And these words, unrepented, they will willingly take the mark of the beast without realizing that they sealed their fate. And then Lord the Lord gave an understanding that this mark is an imitation of our Lord's seal. The enemy cannot come up with his own inventions. And then this word, perversion, destroying my creation. Can you trust me and be patient? It is near, it is coming. Be prepared and travel light. And then I saw like someone was screaming, Run! Be prepared, be ready. And I saw a sack and the word light carry, travel lightly. And then word flee. Then I see words Russian soldiers. Russian soldiers on your ground. Foreign troops are marching on your land, America. Are you ready? And in the vision I saw a soldier pulling the straps of a parachute. And then these words, vulnerable state, they are selling you out to the highest bidder. Come to me, my children. I am the only one who can save you. Come to me, all you who labor and are heavy laden. I see in a vision a group of soldiers marching on the pavement. And the words continue. Their agenda is to take over while you are weak. And then again, vulnerable state. Are you ready to fight? Pray for your strength. And I believe that this is about spiritual fight. Stand on your feet firm. Fight the enemy. And then he repeated, pray, pray, pray. Come up higher and see me in my glory. Fear is not your destiny, but patience and love is. Your strength is in me. Come to me. And this was the end of that word. I just want to say that we have to be extremely careful with what we say with our mouth because our words can be blessings or curses. So let's not make quick judgments against God's creation. I hope you have a lovely rest of the day. And remember, God loves you. I will talk to you later. Bye.